City crews are hard at work in southwest Portland, cleaning out grease buildup in this residential sewer line. This spot off southwest Montgomery is considered one of 30 problem areas in the city where high impactive grease gets into the line. This sewer line is cleaned every three months in order to prevent sewer blockages and backups. Ollie Dirks with the city of Portland tells Fox 12 it's proactive cleaning like this that prevents Portland from ever seeing a clog the size of England's. This monster sized mass of congealed food, fats and wet wipes formed in a Victorian era tunnel in London. It's called a a fatberg and weighs nearly as much as a blue whale. We might have smaller acute blockages, but that sewer line in London is six, seven feet wide. Portland has a few pipes that size. I don't think we would ever have an issue of that magnitude. That being said, Dirk says the city sees its fair share of smaller issues from fats, oils and grease, commonly known as fog, that are washed down Portland sewer lines. Some of those pipes date back to the 1800s. This might get us here. City sewer scope videos obtained by Fox 12 show the rather disgusting scenarios unfolding in Portland's pipes. This video from lines below the Mall 205 area reveals a sewer line caked in grease. A lot of times people don't know what they're doing. People aren't enamored with what's going on in the sewer. They flushed it and it goes away and it's not their problem anymore. However, it is a problem for us because that's a maintenance concern that we as a city have to pay for in order to prevent backups. The city of Portland tells Fox 12 in fiscal year 2016 the cost of preventing fats, oils and grease from clogging city pipes was $4.6 million. Money the city recovers through additional fees placed on businesses that send a more intense mix of wastewater through its system. The city's most recent fog report reveals from January to August of this year, crews removed nearly 2.4 million pounds of fats, oils or grease from city lines. And that's based on its maintenance inspection program with restaurants alone. Currently there's about 3,500 restaurants in Portland and about 2,200 of them have some type of grease interceptor. So we have inspection crews or inspection staff that goes out that go out with the pumpers who provide that cleaning service. Since launching that program five years ago, the city says it's made huge strides in reducing blockages and backups, but crews say they still run into issues with residential communities, especially when it comes to the use of flushable wipes. <laughs> This sewer scope video shows what can go wrong when the sewer line is clogged with those wipes. Flushable wipes are also a strong concern that the city has. Those are things that we wish people would not flush, even though containers may say flushable wipes are okay. However, we found that they also impact our sewer. Our pump station can get clogged up with these wipes are not able to be pumped through the system. The city can issue fines to people responsible for a clog if they discover the source. Blocks in the line that are avoidable if people are mindful of what they put down the drain. We really encourage people to dry wipe and to use their garbage, use their compost. Portland has a real strong composting program to put that material in one of those containers before washing it and flushing it down the sink. And also to minimize their use of garbage grinders uh, garbage disposals because those that type of equipment encourages people to put stuff down the drain. In Southwest Portland, Caitlin Bolduck, Fox 12, Oregon.